It's sunny at the most days. You'll never see the sky if you keep looking down. And if you take the wrong way. Hello guys. For breakfast today, I had high protein oats with some protein powder, biscoff, strawberries, and dark chocolate. Guys, I'm so proud of this creation. Like, look at how pretty that is. It is leg day today. Ladies, this is our favorite day of the week. As we all know, we want to grow that peach, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so each and every week, I am trying to lift heavier, which I feel like I am every week. I'm hitting PBs and I'm so proud of myself, as you guys can tell. I didn't get to film everything today because I was in a bit of a time crunch. My family was organizing a lunch and I wanted to help out. So that's all I got. I just got a hip thrust and my deadlift, but I'm filming the rest for the rest of the week. Just just a disclaimer guys, there's no right or wrong way to eat foods. I eat depending on my body type, depending on my cravings. So I don't want you guys to feel like this is the only way to eat food, to get results or whatever it is you want in life. This is just what I like to eat typically on just a regular week, I guess. Every week changes, every day changes. So yeah, there is literally no right or wrong way. I can't stress that enough. I want to remind you guys that food is not the enemy. You know, life is meant to be enjoyed, especially when you're spending time with your loved ones, your friends. It's just important to live in the moment and not stress about the amount of food you're eating. You're worth more than your body. And if you gain a little bit of weight from eating too much, that's okay because people are not gonna love you any less just because you gained some weight. It's really all about how you make people feel rather than how you look that makes an impact in people's lives. Look what I got for dinner. I'm so excited. Subway. Eat fresh. Except it's not as fresh because I bought a foot long lunch and then I had half lunch and some chips and then half for dinner to today and I added some like vegan cheese to it okay now it's good smell it oh heaven I love the smell of the subway literally I love the smell love the taste love the look love everything about subway eat fresh eat fresh okay taste test wait no not yet taste test Ready for that crunch? Okay. It wasn't much for a crunch. But, mm. Mm. So good. Like, I prefer Subway over like Hungry Jacks, McDonald's, KFC. My go to fast food teriyaki chicken or meatball sub. I used to love meatball sub, but yeah, I go through phases. Now I love teriyaki chicken. My one and only. Mm. Is that a cheese ball? Mm. Mm -hmm. I think there was a cheese ball. I could have this every day. I'm not kidding. But it's literally just bread, meat, veggies, sauce. But it still tastes good. Sunny at the most days. You'll never see the sky if you can I'm excited. And I forgot to mention that I added zucchinis in there. And maybe you should stay instead of turning around. So let you keep on going. I know. But I was ready for the 40. I don't know, I could not push that second rep. Barely. Got it up, but like barely. It's okay, at least I tried. At least we tried. It's fine. I'm excited. This is gonna be my hydrolyte for today. Um, Cocoa Coast. I don't know. Uh, this is something I saw at Woolies. It's new. I'm just like, I wanna try it because I love my coconut water. And this is lychee flavor. I love my lychee, literally lychee flavored anything, I'm down for also. <sighs> there's no added sugar, I'm just like, all right, cool, there's no added sugar in this, no preservatives, cholesterol, whatever, but yeah, it's just a healthy drink. I'm gonna do a little bit of a taste test for you guys while I'm resting. Oh, yes. I'm so excited, I'm kind of shaking at the moment. You guys can't tell, but I feel like I'm like jittery a little bit. It's probably from the pre-workout, I'm gonna be honest, because it took like a 
a scoop and a half today because I felt like I needed it. <laughs> Whoops, my bad. Cheers. <laughs> Guys. <gasps> this is good. I feel like this is the best combination. Like a, there's a hint of coconut water with a twist of lychee in it. <gasps> I want to buy more. Oh my god, this is yum. Like this is going to be my next new favorite drink. This is so good. I'm not exaggerating, I just love the taste of it. There's so many reasons you should care. Don't stay looking out the window. And how late do you plan on going nowhere? Afraid of all the things you don't know. There's so many reasons you should care. Lately, I've been making more of an effort to improve my relationship with food, making sure that I'm listening to my hunger cues and also allowing myself to have more foods that aren't exactly the best for you, I guess Good you'd say, nutrition wise. And it has really, really helped how I view food. I'm not gonna lie, in the past, I used to have an all or nothing sort of mentality. If I ate something unhealthy, I would end up eating more of the foods that aren't exactly the best for you and I ended up just overdoing it really so pretty look at that guys I'm so excited that it's berry season specifically strawberry season I love my strawberries especially when they're hella sweet and perfectly ripe but like look at how red this is literally even having this every day I'm not gonna lie I don't think I've filmed it on some days I'm, I'm gonna be honest whoops but I have literally been having a pun it every single day but I'm so excited. Oh! Now you feel the pressure, but you just can't get enough. Mm. Yeah, I saw you browsing like so far. I'll be honest and say that I do still have moments where I feel guilty eating unhealthier foods because I have this fear in the back of my mind that if I eat too much of these kinds of foods that I won't see progress at the gym in terms of my physique and as well as my strength. So yeah, that's that. <laughs> um, it's a struggle, an internal battle that I do still go through, but you know, it is a work in progress and as long as I'm making progress mentally, that's all that matters. No journey is perfect, but you know that is the beauty of life i guess you could say without the struggles and the lows in life you don't exactly learn to appreciate the highs in life because once you overcome your internal battles you see life differently but in a good way right now i feel like i'm at a place in my life where i appreciate food more because of my past with my disordered eating. Now I choose to see food as fuel regardless of its nutrition value but you know that's life and I'm enjoying what I'm eating and using the food to fuel my workouts and guys I'm getting stronger each and every week because of the amount of food I am eating and it's so liberating just to feel freedom with the amount of food I'm consuming as well as the types of foods that I am eating. I hit PB today. I, I don't think I've ever done this weight before and it wasn't that much of a struggle for four reps. I'm so proud of myself. I did that. Um, wow. Oh my god. How much is that? 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. 60 is my current my current PB. I'm so excited. I've never been able to get past 50 kilos on squats. <laughs> Today's the day. We're making moves, guys. We're making moves. <laughs> Hyped, guys, honestly. It'll be interesting to see how heavy I can go. And obviously, you guys will be going through it with me through this journey to see how heavy we can go. It all is really in the mind you know you got to believe in yourself and that's what i did i was like yeah no, you, you, you got this it really is here because i never used to believe in myself with lifting heavy because i would be like nah i can't do it i literally before i even you know tried the weight 
I already had it sit in my mind saying, no, I can't do it, it's too heavy. So you're already setting yourself up for failure. That's the thing, you've got to believe in yourself. So right now I'm trying to like train my brains and just to think more optimistically <laughs> with, you know, lifting heavier. <laughs> Moving out some chunks is like the best thing ever. Some chocolate, popcorn, more popcorn, chips, chips, delish. 